Hi, in this episode I'll be making the skybox for the game as well as making two more mazes which will be level 2 and level 3. So here you go. So first I import the skybox material from Fantasy Skybox free asset from the asset store. and then apply it into a material and then import it into the sky mode so by doing that we have a cool sky in the background right except as you know it's kind of weird to see the default sky which has no clouds in it so adding a sky box is a must for any good game After that I take a screenshot of the newly formed uh, sky and with the cat in it and then you know set it up in the menu since in the menu before main menu before we you know added the default sky background to the uh, picture so this time we are going to have the sky with it when we you know show it in the main menu As you can see as soon as I click the start button the lighting becomes totally horrible. So to fix that there is a way which uh, you know very few people know this but you we can actually fix this lighting by you know going to the lightings panel and then you know choose the scene which uh, which will load the next scene. In my case it's level 1 and there will be other levels too. I'll be doing that for the other levels too. So uh here we just go to the lighting panel and then uh, scroll down and click on generate lighting so what this will do is you know generate the lighting for the scene when this scene is loaded so it will you know not appear in a you know dark manner like you see now so that way we can fix the lighting issue All right now we can move on to make other levels so here i'll just duplicate this scene here level 1 and change it to change the name to level 2 and then just change the obstacle pattern here actually it should be maze wall but you get the idea and here i named it obstacle so it's kind of you know complex uh, you know weird but uh, yeah it's essentially just the walls 
and here I just rearrange the whole obstacle thing and do so with the level 3 scene 2 so for level 2 and level 3 I just change the uh, change the obstacle arrangement for the walls and yeah that's all I did
all right instead of restarting the game this time we'll be loading the next scene so here i'll add a function called load next scene and this will essentially just be called when you know the uh, when the player completes the maze and then the player will go to the next maze so it will essentially load the next scene so yeah first it's level one then level two then level three and yeah uh, at the end of level three i will add uh, a message like you have completed all the messages congratulations and yeah that's what i'm gonna do now Alright after this the game is mostly completed now but I am thinking of adding some more stuff to it and yeah you guys will check it out in my next video yeah I won't show it now so yeah see you guys next time.